Nathan's girl alongside Matt Wilhelm, as you can see, new mic flag, new fresh helmet on the top of Mr. Wilhelm. It's a new day for the Browns looking to go into Baltimore and get a win for the first time since 2007. Matt, what are the keys to victory in this game for the Browns? And let's start on the defensive side of the ball. I think defensively, they're going to be without Steve Smith, you know, Joe Flacco's greatest weapon. I, I believe that stopping Justin Forsett, he had his best game last Thursday night in Pittsburgh, really got him going, and I'm sure they're going to get a steady dose of Justin Forsett. So limiting him and then forcing Joe Flacco to work with kind of average weapons and really forcing the football. So this would be, of all weeks thus far through the football season, the best kind of like rebound week for this Browns defense. Absolutely. Justin Forsett averaged six and a half yards of carry last year against the Browns. you got to stop him. You talked about the weapons. Steve Smith not expected to play with the four broken bones in his back. They draft Brashad Perriman in the first round. He hasn't played a snap all season long. Torrey Smith is gone. Jacoby Jones is gone. Their starting tight end, Crockett Gilmore, he's out as well. So this is a very depleted team. Stop the run. Offensively, the number two passing attack in the NFL the last two weeks. Who would have thought that? But Josh McCown playing great football. What do the Browns have to do to keep that momentum going? I would think Josh, we don't want Josh McCown uh, being in any like very obvious passing situation. So I would think our ability to have some type of run game. Yes, we know he's capable of throwing it 45, 45 times in a football game and going 300 plus yards. But I believe offsetting that 50 or creating that 50 50, you know, run pass percentage is what we really need to do. So we can't deviate from who we are uh, going into this football season of running the football. Run the football, we'll set up the pass. And without Terrell Suggs in the game, focus on slowing down Elvis Doomerville. He has more sacks against the Browns than he has against any team in the NFL. He's been a Browns killer. you got to find a way to keep him off of Josh McCown and keep that pocket clean. Sean Gibson is out. Jordan Poyer will start at safety. Kwan Williams should be back, though, and we hope to have Joe Hayden officially listed as questionable. What are you looking for from the secondary this week? Uh, great play. As we said, without Steve Smith, that real threat uh, or that go-to guy for Joe Flacco will not be in existence. So our ability for our defensive backs to live up to the billing and, and really step up and make plays on the back end. All right, convert on third downs, turn your red zone trips into touchdowns, and limit your mistakes. And I think the Browns team has all they need to go into Baltimore and come away with a victory on Sunday. For Matt Wilhelm, I'm Nathan Zagura. Thanks for watching here on ClevelandBrowns.com and the Browns mobile app, your best source for Browns news.